Hello and welcome back to this channel. Bollinger Band and MACD Indicator Amazing Trading Pairs Candlestick Part 5. MACD and Bollinger Band are the most powerful and widely used indicators among traders. Candlestick psychology will demonstrate the successful trading strategy of these two pairs to obtain profitable trading. In this video, I am going to show you how easy you can identify the strength, volatility, and direction of the trend going upward, downward, or reversal. Important price actions such as market structure, candlestick map, price buildup, price breakup, breakout, trend reversal, and price formations are incorporated to MACD and Bollinger Band to show you how a successful trade can be achieved. MACD and Bollinger Band will demonstrate when is the right time to enter and exit the trading market and where the stop loss should be that you don't lose money. Finally, you will see lots of practical examples to clarify the above strategy. This is Yo Finance and Air Canada stock. Now I installed here the Bollinger Band with 20 days moving average and also standard deviation two. Now standard deviation, it means the distance between moving average to upper and lower band. So from, from here to upper band is plus two and from there to lower band is minus two. So it consists of three section. The first one is upper band. This is upper band or resistant boundary. So the price usually come all the way to the upper band and bounce back. So it acts as a resistant. Now, the, this one is considered as lower band, lower band or support boundary. The, the, the price come down to this lower band and reverses back. So that is they call the, it act as a support. And the median, this is SMA20, acts as a median of the Bollinger Band. Now, Bollinger Band, also the, the area lower band, they call that cheap. This is cheap is a term when price is near the lower band. So that is the area of oversold. So they call that cheap area or cheap zone now this one expensive zone is a term used when price is near the upper band so this is they call that expensive zone or overbought area now when this band become wider like here that's fairly wide like here, white, widening of the band means higher volatility and strength. So anytime this band become wider, we know that the volatility and strength is increasing. And narrowing the band, when the band shrink and it become very narrow, look like a small pipe, means lower volatility and strength. So in this area, the strength and volatility is very low. You see the candles are becoming very small, side by side. They're in consolidation and range bond. Basically, the, the price moving sideways. There is not big fluctuation to go up and down. So here, when the price goes in a narrow band, then we have to watch because very soon the price is going to come out with a big breakout, whether it goes up or down. So in either way, then you can enter the market. So this is the Bollinger Band psychology. Bollinger Band buy signal. In a downtrend, 
if the price exit the lower band the cheap area with the bearish candle and closes below the lower band and then return back again and cross above the lower band with a bullish candle it generates a buy signal and possible reversal of the trend method two at the end of a downtrend if we experience two consecutive peaks where the second peak is lower than the first one and above the lower band and the first peak is completely out of the lower band here is the end of a downtrend and a buy signal is generated let's see an example this is yo finance k stock and h1 time frame each candle represents one hour of trading you see that the trend is going upward all the way here and here there is a price rejections from the resistant uh, dynamic resistant the upper band the price come down all the way and and here this is a support dynamic support the lower band and it got rejected by the by the support so it it penetrate inside the lower band with the bearish candle and closes outside and return back again into the band with the bullish candle and close inside the band or above the lower band so it produces a, a buy signal so if you uh, enter the market here then this considered as a sub dynamic support and you can put your stop loss to ATR below the lower band and you enter the market and you ride on this trend all the way here so whenever in Bollinger Band the band expands like here like here the band expands that is the sign of higher volatility and strength of the trend so this is the candlestick psychology that you see how the candles behave in Bollinger Band indicator. This is your finance K stock H1 time frame. Uh, this is a Bollinger Band with a 20 period median and upper and lower band with a distance to median two standard deviation now here we have an uptrend here and again we have a downtrend here it comes and hit the lower band and it got rejected and create one peak here and go inside and coming back and create another peak inside the band which is lower than the first peak this create a buy signal so we have to wait for the confirmation candle as the confirmation candle this bullish uh, uh, closes here we enter the market and we put our stop loss to ATR below the entry price and we ride on this trend we have to mention that here this is a, this is a, a, a bullish uh, upward trend and if the trend goes up and the it it goes out of the upper band with the bullish candle and closes outside and return back inside the band the upper band and closes inside like this red one it generates a sell signal so you can exit the market now anytime the the band expands like here that automatically the volatility increases we see the volatility increases and also the strength of the trend increases too anytime the the band shrink the volatility decreases and also the strength decreases you see the the candles become smaller with almost basically a smaller shadow or no shadow at all so that is the candlestick psychology that we demonstrate with Bollinger Band Bollinger Band sell signal 
Method one, in an uptrend, if the price exits the upper band with a bullish candle and closes above the upper band and then return back again and closes inside the upper band with a bearish candle, it generates a sell signal and possible reversal of the trend. Method two, at the end of an uptrend, if we experience two consecutive peaks where the second peak is lower than the first one, and the first peak is completely out of the upper band, and the second peak is below the upper band, here is the end of an uptrend, and a sell signal is generated. Pro tip, cheap where you enter the market and expensive where you exit the market. But don't forget that it may not be the right moment to do so. The price may be in a cheap or expensive zone for a long time and you lose money. That's why you should use other technical analysis with this indicator. I am going to show you how. Let's see some examples. This is Yo Finance K stock. We have a very strong momentum, uh, high volatility trend, uptrend. The reason is because the band is expanding a lot. You see, that's a big expansion of the band, and that is the sign of high volatility and strength. Here we have a very strong uptrend that shows with the bullish candles. And when the trend like this, it goes up and finally it comes out of the uh, upper band with a bullish candle and closes outside and return back inside the Bollinger Band and closes with the bearish candle, it generates a sell signal. So if you already you are already in the trend you are already you already in the trend then you can exit the trend here so you don't lose money now this bollinger band has the median is sma 20 with 20 days period and the standard deviation is two standard deviation uh, away from a simple moving average with the 20 days period. Now, this is your finance case stock, H1 time frame. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the, the two peak uh, sell signal. Now, here we have, we have one peak here that is in the uptrend and it goes out of the upper band and one peak here and there is another peak when it's inside it generates another peak inside that's the second peak and after that the trend go downward so when you exit the market you have to wait for confirmation of this as soon as this candle closes you exit the market and you put your stop loss 280 or above that now this is downtrend then in a downtrend then you get one peak here in the lower band and and it went back inside and get another peak that's second peak now it create a sell signal that's another upward trend here it goes it it create another peak here in the upper band and another peak inside the band the second peak it create a sell signal and you can exit the market right here and put your 280R above and the trend goes downward. So this is the uh, Bollinger Band with 20 days period and two standard deviation for upper and lower band. This is Yo Finance and Walmart stock D1 time frame. 
Now I installed here MACD indicator with 12.26.9 parameter. I installed Bollinger Band with SMA20 as a median and the standard deviation too. Now here we see the Bollinger Band shrink here and that's the sign of low volatility and also consolidation. Here the, the, uh, the candle it's going downward and it come out of the lower band and closes outside and again return back inside the band. That's by itself a sign of uh, a, a signal, a entry signal or buy signal. Now if you use price action, that is these three candle, it is nothing but downside gap two dove pattern that if it appear at the at the bottom of a downtrend it suggests a uptrend reversal and also if you if you blend these three candles uh, you know you take the open of this you take the close of this and that is the red portion here and high and a low of the pattern you get a bearish hammer at the bottom of downtrend that suggests a trend reversal to go uptrend upward now let's see make the indicator on the other hand you see between this area and this area which the bollinger band shrink you see the the length of a histogram is basically flattened and you see there is no uh, there is no volatility and also strength and around this area which is the bottom of this downtrend you see MACD indicator is at the lowest level and the blue line it's going up and past the orange line and going upward that's a sign of an upward trend and in here you see the length of a histogram bar increases too so that is the sign of uptrend the the uptrend continue up to, up to here which is exactly this area and then after that it reverses reverses back so basically price action bollinger band and MACD indicator they're all in line and the this is the psychology of candlestick this is your finance walmart stock in this in this uh, trend, I did not install uh, Bollinger Band or MACD indicator. I want to analyze this one joy just by itself and then add Bollinger Band and MACD. You see this portion of the, the trend, the candles, they are in almost range bond. They are in consolidation and, and the price build up from here, the price build up and look for a breakout, which the breakout is around here, that the price breaks, break out. Now, uh, the, the volatility is very low here. You see there is not that much up and down, especially in this section, that it would it close to break out. The uh, candles, they are sitting side by side and they are in uh, in uh, uh, range bond and sideways action in one line there is not that much going on in here volatility is low now here is a small downtrend that you see and we have uh, three candles here at the bottom of this downtrend and it looked like downside gap two dove pattern but anyway if you don't know the name you can blend these candles with candlestick mat. I have three videos on candlestick mat. Please watch those videos so you increase your trading knowledge. So you take the open of this, the, the red one. You take the close of the bullish candle and the, the section between open and close is nothing but a small bearish candle. Then you take the high and a low of the pattern. So the outcome of these three candles is nothing but a bearish hammer that suggests 
since the bearish hammer at the bottom of a downtrend, it suggests a trend reversal. So the trend reverses and going upward, and you see that here is making higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. That's it. That's the uh, characteristics of a good and strong uptrend. So you see the candles, the 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 breakout, the candlestick mat built up consolidation and reversal that's all nothing but candlestick psychology which we demonstrate in this graph without having uh, any bollinger band or macd indicator so we are going to add these things in the next graph to see what is the difference Now, this is the same graph as we saw before. The only thing, the only difference is I install Bollinger Band on this uh, uh, candlestick uh, trend. Now, the, this Bollinger Band has 20 days period with two standard deviation. Now, this, look at this part of the graph. Bollinger Band shows the shrinkage in, in, the, in, the, in its band. You see the, the band is shrink around here. And this means the price is, is in range bond. In a, a, it is in a consolidation. And basically there is no fluctuation around this area. The volatility is very low. The strength is very low. The candles are very small and tiny. They're sitting side by side, basically doing nothing. So you cannot enter the market in this area. Uh, so you have to wait for the price breakout. Uh, is, this, is a, this is close to breakout. Usually price build up is very strong here. Look, this is price build up. Now this, the, in this portion, less, uh, from a uh, Bollinger Band point of view, this is a small downtrend. Now the candles come out of the lower band with the bearish candle and closes outside and return again inside the band with the bullish candle and closes inside. That is a sign uh, that is the uh, uh, entry signal or buy signal, a Bollinger Band buy signal. So you can buy the, you can enter the market here and you can ride on the trend. And you see that the trend is very strong after that, making higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and higher high, higher low. So this is again, candlestick psychology, including Bollinger Band indicator. Now, this is the same graph as we discussed before. The only difference is I installed MACD indicator with 12.26.9 parameter. Now, in this Bollinger Band, you see the, the, the bands are very narrow. As we discussed before, that's the sign of consolidation, range bond, and price build up. Look at MACD indicator. Exactly the same place that we have in range bond and built up, you see the size of the histogram. They're basically flattened. And, uh, and there is no uh, increase or decrease in uh, histogram length. This by itself, it shows that the volatility is very low and the strength is very low. And there's not that much uh, uh, price action going on. The fluctuation is basically uh, very, very, very small. Now, exactly where we have, uh, we start having a breakout here, the trend is going upward. You see exactly the um, MACD line, the blue line that is here. Is exactly like here, and it start going upward. 
and past the orange line, which is a signal line, that's the indication of upward trend. So you can in enter the market right there. So it's around this area. So you enter the market and you see the trend. The blue line is all the time above the signal line all the way here. So you can enter the market here and exit the market here. And here is basically all those swing low and swing high, swing low and swing high that you see that. For example, this is swing high, swing low, and you see that the length of histogram here, that is it coming in a negative side. And then from here is start swing high. That's it, the, the length of the histogram, it shows in the green uh, color and it goes up. So this is demonstrate the psychology and behavior of candle through histogram, MACD line and signal line and Bollinger Band. So that is candlestick psychology. This is your channel and I'm trying my best to improve your trading knowledge to make profit from the stock market. I have so many valuable trading information to pass on to you. And in order that you receive it on time, please subscribe and support this channel. And thank you in advance. This is Yo Finance Air Canada stock and the one time frame. In this graph and the next three more graphs that is coming after this, I am going to demonstrate how you use support and resistance or market structure incorporate into Bollinger Band and MACD indicator in order to improve your trading action, improve your entering the market and make profit. Now in this graph, I brought lots of historical data into one graph in order to show you this resistant level or area is very strong and it has one, two, three, four, and five touches. Now, the, the trend here, it went up, hit the resistance and break the resistance and pass through. And in this side, the price hit the support and didn't reverse, it break the resistance the, the, the support and pass through. So we have five touches. In, uh, in the next slide, I'm going to uh, amplify uh, or highlight the touch number one and two and analyze and see how we can enter and exit the trading market and make money and use Bollinger Band and MACD indicator along with uh, this resistant area. Now use support and resistant is nothing but candlestick psychology, the behavior of the trend, when it reaches the support and resistant area, why it reverses back and why it breaks the barriers. So these are all the things that we are going to discuss in the next slide. This is the same graph as we, we saw before. The only thing is I highlight the touch number one and touch number two, and this is the resistant level that I indicated before. Now, let's start from here. In this part of the graph, we have four candles. This is red, and these, this is a, a bullish candle. Now, if you blend these four candles, you take the open of the first one, you take the close of the last one, and then the high and the low of the pattern. You see a, a, bearish, a bearish hammer. So at the, at the bottom of a downtrend, so that suggests a trend reversal from downtrend to uptrend. So the trend go up, and finally it got rejected by the resistant area 
by the resistant, resistant level. Now, what is that at the top of this uptrend? We have a shooting star that's from the price action that indicates that the trend reversal. So it comes here at the bottom of a, a downtrend. We see a, a long lower shadow hammer that is again indicate a price reversal from downtrend to uptrend. And so here you have again another shooting star. That is the sign of a downtrend. Now, when it comes here, you see the price reaches Bollinger Band expensive area or overbought area. And the next candle, it forms a big, long, bearish candle. So that is the sign of a downtrend. So the trend going coming down. And when it comes here, it comes out of the lower band with the bearish candle and inside the band with the bullish candle. That's a sign of a, a buy signal. So the trend goes up. Now here, if you see here another price rejection by the support, by the resistance level. Now, if we blend these two candles, that's basically uh, if you blend these two candles and if you don't know the name of this pattern, you take the open of this candle, you take the close of the last and the high and the low of the pattern, you see a very long inverted hammer. That's a long inverted hammer. That is the basically the bears testing the power of the bulls and suggesting a downtrend. So we see that with candlestick blending, we can do so many things. It can ease our decision to enter the market. Let's, let's look at the uh, MACD indicators. Here, we installed MACD indicator with 12.26.9 parameter. Now here, when the trend is in downtrend here, you see MACD is exactly in the lowest level here. So it comes down in the lowest level, which is here. And then from here, the trend is picking up and going upward. So from here, the trend is going upward. Here it shows, and that is the end of that upward trend. Look at the MACD, uh, the histogram bar. Here it becomes, it makes it a zero. So that is the, the where you have to, where is it? That's the peak where you have to exit the market. Now the trend from here is downtrend. You see, you can exit the market. That is a downtrend. The MACD indicator is below the, the, the uh, MACD line is below the orange line. So that is the downtrend. And from here is uptrend. Again, it shows an uptrend. And it goes, this uptrend continue all the way here. So it comes all the way here. And again, this is a downtrend. And you show the downtrend here. And basically from here that the trend goes upward, we, we see here an uptrend. MACD, MACD line, the blue, the blue line is above the orange line. So that's an uptrend. Here is going downtrend. And it's indicated in MACD uh indicator uh, a downtrend you see the size of histogram shows a downtrend here an uptrend here that's a big histogram bars a downtrend here a small uptrend all the way here a downtrend here from here to here as a downtrend look at the histogram bar on the negative side now again uptrend the size of the histogram and downtrend the size of the histogram in the negative side. So basically, uh, make the indicator Bollinger Band and also price action uh, market structure is a very, very important tool 
that you use in order to enter and exit the market and make profit. So if you want to really make profit, you have to know price action. So I have so many videos that explain so clearly the price action. So please uh, look at those videos and increase your trading knowledge. So this is a good demonstration of candlestick psychology. This is the same graph. The only thing is we highlight uh, the touches number three and number four. And this is the resistant level. Now let's start from here. Now here we have at the bottom of this downtrend, we have five candles. One, two, three, four, five. It start with the red one and then the green, the longer green one. Now, if we blend these four, these five candles, we take the open of this candle, close of this, and then the high and the low of the pattern, we get a, a bullish hammer at the bottom of a downtrend that suggests the trend reversal from downtrend to uptrend. So the, the trend is going all the way up till here. Now, here we have some price rejection from the resistance level. Here at the top of this uptrend, we have a, a, a hanging man. And this hanging man suggests the trend going uh, reverse from uptrend to downtrend. That's basically the bears testing the bull's power. And the trend coming all the way down till Till here, we have two candles. It's a very long red one and followed by green candle. If you blend these two candles, you take the open of this, close of this, and the high and the low of the pattern, you get a bearish hammer at the bottom of a downtrend that suggests trend reversal. You see at this time at this point, you have a, a shooting star that suggests trend reversal from uptrend to downtrend. Here we have another another hammer at the bottom of a downtrend, suggests a trend reversal to go up. We have a price rejection by the support and resistance level, and the 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 trend reverses from uptrend to downtrend. Uh, so. And also here, look at here, that the, the, the trend going down in a cheap area or oversold area, it comes out of the band with the red candle, closes outside, and it goes inside the band with the bullish candle and close inside the band, uh, above the lower band. That is a producing a a buy signal and the trend going up. Now let's let's look at the histogram, how histogram behave versus the Bollinger Band and price action. Now I installed here the histogram with 12.26.9 parameter. Now here that the trend is down, you see the trend going up and here it reverses again, going upward. So we have an uptrend here. And it, it exactly clearly shows an uptrend. And you see the size of histogram shows an uptrend. Now, here, the trend going downtrend, from here, it goes down all the way. You see the histogram bar shows a downtrend in the negative. All the way here, that's a downtrend. From here, the trend going up. So it's also the, the histogram bar shows a longer bars. And the MACD line is above the orange line. That's a sign of uptrend. Here, there's another uptrend. MACD line is above the orange line. That's a signal 
of an uptrend. You can enter the market here. You can enter the market here. You can enter the market here. And you can exit here. Exit here the market and exit here the market. Oh, ex excuse me, exit here the market. Now you see met the indicator. Uh, Bollinger Band and price action, they're all in line and all saying the same thing. It's helping you how you enter the market and you take profit. So this is basically nothing but candlestick psychology. This is the same graph and I'm again highlighting a touch number five. Now, in this graph, you see this part of the graph. It's the Bollinger Band shows very narrow, narrow band, especially around here. Now, as soon as we see this, you know that the volatility is very low. The strength is very low. The price is in range bond or built up. And we have to wait for or look for a price breakout. Now, I decided to blend these nine candles between this red and this green. So I blend these nine candles and the outcome is a bearish hammer at the bottom of this small downtrend. Now, this suggests that the price is going to reverse going up. That's the breakout is going to be in upward direction. So the price breaks and you see that the, the band expand and the price, it went up all the way here and it's a very long upward trend. And now the price reach the resistant level, the touch, that's touch number five, the resistant level. And you see that at the top of uh, an upward trend, you see a shooting star the the price rejects by the resistant level and the shooting star that uh, that shows that the price is going to reverse downward now when the price reaches this oversold area or cheap area it came out and then after that it went back again and in the, in upward directions now we want to know what is MACD indicator is doing versus price action and also uh, a bollinger band between this area that between this area and this area you see the bollinger band has a very narrow narrow band and you see in MACD indicator, the histogram bar basically flattened and there's no action, there's no volatility, there's no uh, strength in the, in the trend, uh, no momentum. Basically the price is ranging sideways. And as soon as the price break out here, you see that the, the trend or uh, the blue line, MACD line, it crosses the orange line here and going upward. So that is the sign of upward direction when MACD line is above the orange line. So you can enter the market here, enter the market here. You see, that is the exactly the same, the same places. You enter the market here and out, up, to, up to, till here, that's the up, uptrend. And then after that, you can exit the market all the way here. That is the downtrend, basically. All the way here. You see the MACD, MACD, uh, his, the histogram bar shows a negative movement. And here is positive movement. So basically, MACD indicator, Bollinger Band, and price action, all they are all in line and can help you to make a very good decision in order to make money.
bullish and bearish divergence. When the price is in overbought or oversold area and it moves toward the median, it may hit the median and reverse like a spring back effect or break out. In either case, that is a great opportunity for traders to enter and exit the market and make profit. MACD indicator can also demonstrate the strength and weakness of the trend through bullish and bearish divergence. This can tell you when the uptrend or downtrend is about to finish or near reversal. Bullish divergence is when the price in a downtrend and making lower low, but the MACD indicator shows lower high. This is a sign of weakness telling us we are near reversal. Bearish divergence is when price in an uptrend and making higher high and MACD shows lower high. This is a sign of strength and it is telling us we are near reversal. That's all folks. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave your comments. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.